Can I turn the conveyor belt on again? Oh, there it goes. I think. Come on. There we go. pushes you along. That's handy. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chamber. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms huh? with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal oh. tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which is complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control collective plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was what demonstrated during the first tragic expedition through the port. While the cost so, in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. Sounds lovely. Uh, soul cube. Uh, this is the audio log of Research Director Larry Bowman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. It is a weapon. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Have been met with no success. Well, never mind. Back to the task. I have the soul cube what I've deciphered so far is a bit disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, open with caution. Ability to kill anything. Assholes. How you have it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or picking it up. I suspect that it's like the civilization we constructed More about the soul cube. Peekaboo! Oh, I missed. I direct hit much. Assholes. <laughs> it solves problems.
Level 3, storage room. Please update your records. New storage code 725 463. Well, they just give me keys. <clears throat> Make me, like, remember stuff. Bastards. Free stuff? Huh? I don't know the Martian buddy code! <clears throat> Could it possibly be? What wonderments await inside? Well, they'll just have to jolly well wait, won't they? It is, but it summons imps, and I can do without that. <laughs> Delta Labs 3! <clears throat> How many frickin' Delta Labs are there? guys are going to be everywhere, huh? Access granted. Teleport access unlocked. Whoa, buddy! That's not what I wanted at all. Well, I saw health somewhere. Teleport access. Well, come on down, son. I got a present for you. It's in the potty. He beat me back into the potty. Hard to see. Where is he? been chucking them about willy-nilly. This is the personal audio log of Dr. Frank Serrano, dated September 19, 2145. <laughs> sustained uninterrupted transfers for the teleportation units. Currently, our systems can only build enough of a charge to have the portals open for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. It's enough time to get a team through, but not enough time to send in some of the heavy equipment. Engineering in the in-pro facility informed me that we can theoretically boost the active portal time to 45 seconds quite easily. But this will require rerouting power from central processing. <laughs> Sucking power from three veins and info just to power chamber one. I have no idea. Without giving serious thought to reorganizing the teleport power grid. I'll sleep on this. This is Dr. Frank Serrano signing off.
decontamination chamber sequence initiated. Security team info. Supplies and cabinets. 386, 387, 836. Near the first teleport chamber. <laughs> this is the audio log of Administrative Assistant on the dated October 16, 2145. Armor Corps, 1st Platoon, 1st Science Team were completely wiped out this morning. Decontamination process has started. I am in charge of writing the reports and sending this information back to the Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. <sighs> so Go to hell, I computer. Am. First cup of coffee for the day. Five hours. No shot. I have the forces were coming down from great lines. Looks like they have been hacked up pretty good. This is everyone on the base spooked. The true is nowhere to found. There are a lot of questions being asked, no answers from anyone. Next I heard. Sweet shooting up. Next outfit, maybe FGs. Sounds like they are. No chance of a I do believe shit done bout to get real, y'all. Control station one. Feeling I'm not going this way. Okay. Control station one. Is that over here? Oh, here we go. Please select teleport destination. Um. Uh. <coughs> Pad one selected. Pad two selected. Pad one select. Pad two selected. Make it happen. <laughs> That's still really unpleasant. Process Go to hell, computer. This stuff's gonna give me cancer or something. Complete. Have a nice day. Uh -huh. My patience with you is wearing thin. <laughs> Look around you, Marine. Everyone is dead, and soon you will join them. He's just a barrel of laughs, he is. Plasma spit right here, bitch. That's not what I meant to do. But I'll take it. <clears throat> I'm ammo for this now. Power cell. 